Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a video a little bit different from what we normally do. I'm going to be doing a Prado review. And this company called Joy Tutis contacted me and they asked me would I be interested in reviewing one of their products. They told me what it was and I said yes, I want to review that product. It's something that we all can use in all of our automobiles. We can use it in our trucks, our Jeeps, our cars, our SUVs. If you have a minivan, you can use it in a minivan. So let's roll that intro footage and then we'll get to the video. Here's the device I'm gonna be reviewing today. This is a wireless charging dock for your automobile that would charge your QI enabled device wirelessly. It also offers the fast charge function for your QI enabled device. And you say, wait a minute, my phone is not wireless charging capable. Why would I want that? They have that fixed as well. They offer three adapters for your power ports. One of them is a micro USB. One of them is a USB type C, which is the one I use for my Android device. And then they have one for an iPhone. So how you would use that, if, you're, if your device does not offer wireless charging, you would plug whichever one of these fits into your phone into the charging port. You would dock your phone into the docking station. It will make a magnetic connection at the bottom and it will charge your phone through the charging port wirelessly. One of my favorite things about this device, the motion sensors at the bottom. When you get ready to put your device into the stocking station, you can bring your phone up towards the device. It will sense your phone is near. These motorized clamps will open up. You will dock your phone on the device and these clamps will close securely against your phone, holding it in place. And you don't have to worry about these clamps damaging your phone because they have a soft non-slip rubber on the inside of them. No hard plastic is touching the sides of your phones. This docking station also comes with a, a power cable plugging into the USB type C port in the bottom of the dock. Plug this into any available USB port in your car and this will receive power. One of the important features of this is how it connects to your car. It connects to your air vents. And you'll notice on the front of this toggle switch here, there's a one on the right side and a two on the left side. That is for different thickness air vents. So when you flip it to one, you can see that the jaws are closed considerably, but they don't go all the way together. That's for a thicker air vent. If you like me and you have a Jeep with a thin air vent, you'll need to flip this over to the two side which closes them almost completely together. And also these right here will not damage your air vents because they are have a rubberized non-slick coating on the inside of these clamps as well. So, and that will hold this docking station securely to your automobile and keep it from falling off. So let's put this together. Let's go out into my Jeep and we're gonna try it out. First thing I like to do is get the nut just barely started I like to clip this into the, the socket. This right here will snap in, just like that. And then I go ahead and put my nut all the way down and it will hold this in place. This thing offers many different positions. It will give you portrait mode. It will give you landscape mode. If you want it at 45 degrees, you can put it at 45 degrees. If you want another angle on it, you can, you can tilt it. It goes in any position you want. And when you lock it on down, the way I like mine is is like that all the way up and to the right and you tighten it down you won't move it it is very stable this thing has no give to it at all so let's go out to the jeep right now let's try this thing out and i'll show you how it works okay guys i got my power cable connected to the charging dock i've got my dock adjusted to the position i want it to be in and I wanted to make mention, on this Jeep, it's different than most of your automobiles because my vents roll up and down. But when they roll all the way down, like this one right here, it stops going down. And that's the position you have to install this charging dock in on this particular vent. So I'm going to connect it right here on this one. And this is a thin, this is a thin vent right here. So I'm going to flip it to level two, which gives it a tighter position. 
and now my dock is in in place and it's not going to go anywhere i'm going to plug my usb port into my radio to get my power and now when i cut my jeep on the charging dock will become live and it will start working all right guys i'm going to cut my accessory power onto my radio which is going to power up the charging dock you'll see a blue square come up and illuminate that is the wireless charging part of the dock that goes through the back of your phone and now i'm just going to use these infrared sensors to show you how they work and when i do the uh motorized clamps will open up and if you want to do that before you connect your phone, you can. Or you can go up here with your phone. Just like that right there. And it will hold your phone into position. And it's showing 46%. And it's charging wirelessly. So when you get ready to get your phone out, there's a silver button on the side. Just touch that button. And it will release your phone just like that right there. And it will close back and wait for the next time you get ready to dock your phone. So I'm going to put my phone back up here, and I'm going to put my GPS on. I'm going to do a little navigation, and I'm going to show you how this docking station works and holds my phone. And we're going to see if the battery on my phone actually gets less or more while running GPS and the screen on all the time. And one thing I've learned to do when docking my phone, just to make sure I get these infrared sensors to see my phone, is I, I go in with my chin on my phone. And then I set my phone, make sure your phone is seated flush against the wireless charging station. All right, I have my Jeep started. Got my GPS going. My screen will never go off. My phone is at 46%. And let's drive for several miles and let's see how well the battery does while charging wirelessly through this new phone charging station. Okay guys, I'm back at my home. Uh, I got my address covered up and I drove probably 10 miles with my GPS on, with my Bluetooth on my phone connected to my radio and the screen was on all the time. The phone is charged up to 48%. So that means it gained 2% charge wirelessly while running GPS, Bluetooth connected, and uh, my, my screen was on Let's see how bright it was. Almost full brightness on my screen. So I think that is very, very good. Guys, there's just one little quick thing I want to mention before we get out of the Jeep and I close this video. Going down the road at night, the first day I had it, I dropped my phone about four times out of the docking station because of something I was doing wrong. And I just want to make you aware of it so you won't drop it and potentially hurt your phone by it falling out of the docking station. And what I was doing was I'll be going down the road and I'll be trying to swap songs on my playlist. And when you bounce and going over bumps, it's hard to touch a particular area of your screen. You'll always touch the wrong song. You won't hardly ever get it right. You'll be bouncing. And in order to uh, eliminate that, I grabbed my phone to stabilize my hand and then I just touch. I just touch what I want to touch and it's, it's easy you can just touch wherever you want to touch on the screen so a stable hand is key going down the road to touching your phone where you want to touch it at where I was grabbing my phone was my mistake I had forgotten that the silver touch sensitive button was on the side and every time I would grab my phone I would touch that button 
the clamps would release and my phone would fall out and land in the floor. And it was dark. I had to be at work at 5 a.m. in the morning, so I was not able to see that the clamps were opening up and releasing off my phone. And then I'd hit a bump and my phone would fall out. So I have moved my hand position to up here so I don't have any problems. I will show you where I was holding it that caused me the problems and you'll notice that the clamps open up when I when I hold it right here. And this is just what I was doing. I just reach up here and grab it and get ready to do it and it would, it would fall out. And I would think, my goodness, what's going on? And I would put it back in and I would get ready to do what I just did again. And lo and behold, it would fall out again. So that was a problem I was having and it was not a problem with the uh, phone charger. It was a problem with me touching that button unknowingly. So anyway, I just wanted to make y'all aware of that, that you don't do that because if you touch the button, it is designed to make those clamps release and it will release and it will, will release every time whether you're expecting it to or not. Just make sure you don't touch that button. So guys, that's my review of the Joy Tutus wireless charging dock for your phone that you can install into your car. Your Jeep, your car, your SUV, your minivan. It doesn't matter if it's got air vents that'll connect to it and hold your phone securely. So anyway, I really like it. I'm not just saying that because they sent it to me and asked me to review it. I truly do like it and I will truly continue to use it from here on out until it sometimes breaks in the future and then I would probably buy another one. Down in the comments, I, I really would appreciate it if y'all would uh, leave a comment and let me know what you think about the wireless charging dock. I'm gonna leave a link to the charging dock uh, in the video description below. It'll send you to their website. They have all kinds of neat little things. They have all types of stuff for Jeeps. They have mirrors, they have floor mats, they have headlights, all kinds of things. And the shipping was relatively fast. I think I got that when they shipped it out to me. I think it was less than, less than two weeks. They shipped very fast to me. So if you like the video, please hit the like button. Give me a thumbs up on that. And if you're watching the video just for the charging dock and you like the content, please hit that subscribe button because it'll help the channel out a lot. The channel's growing and it's all thanks to you guys. So I'll see y'all next time. Y'all come back and I'll see y'all then. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Yeah.